they go out and they take their sword and they pound away on this thing. <laughs> and they just beat it to death. And uh, they broom out their swords, they broom out their shoulders, and they say, oh, I, I did a thousand shots last week. Oh, that's, that's fine, that's great. You gotta buy more rattan and you gotta go to your doctor. Fabulous. Um, we're gonna look at using the pellet in a different way. We're gonna use it with this in mind. Where are you burning your energy? When you do it slowly, you can find it. If you blast through it and do it quickly, you won't notice, you won't see it. Your body will, will say, hey, I'm in pain. You're doing something wrong and you go, I gotta, I gotta get some Advil. All right? <laughs> Let's look at this a different way. Let's look at how we're gonna structure this shot. I wanna start smooth, smooth and relaxed. And I'm just gonna use a snap for now. There's that squeeze at the end. And you can practice this with the exact same drill that we did. I'm going to start out, I'm going to set my sword where I want it to go, and I'm going to get into that squeeze, like there's my power. And you don't, don't think you're going to thunder on the pell doing this, but you're training your body to get used to this position of my legs are turning, my hip is turning, my torso, my shoulders locked in at that moment. About three, four seconds, and then relax. Again, three, four seconds, and relax. Then, the last couple inches, you're just going from relaxed to squeeze. That's the important part, being able to go from relaxed to tension and back very quickly. You can do it. You look at people like gymnasts or you know, high-end athletes. They aren't burning energy all over the place. They're burning it at that one moment they need it. Relax. Now you can do a relaxed recovery. Um, the, the benefits of this, this is martially sound. Boxers would do this that want to save energy. And His Grace was tricking just about everybody yesterday by keeping his shot relaxed until it's over. And then at the end he would squeeze. And this is deceptive. All of this motion, you hide motion with motion. You hide motion in motion. You're not sure, his opponent's not sure when he's going to decide to throw. When he sees this, you know it. You know it that early, and you can block it. You don't know it. And, and we actually saw this on the video last night. His opponent faded back, and there wasn't a shot, and he just kept moving. Yeah. There was a shot there. His opponent never saw it. You never saw it finish. He never burned the energy it took to land it, because he knew it wasn't there. So now that's saving energy. It's also being deceptive. All warfare is deception. Yeah, the, the difference being, if I see something, I can start going to it, and if it gets covered and I realize it's not there, I can stop it. Yep. That's the same. You check it. Yep. Saying, right. There's, there's like a, a list of benefits, and that's, a, that's right on the list. The other one is, is the guy freaks and goes for the head, he can change it up. If you're relaxed, you can change the direction, and you have, you have many, many options. You tense up for that headshot, and you've committed it already there. It's going one and only place. You, redirecting that is very high energy, very high stress on the joints. You're forcing the sword around now, and that's not sound. The sword will want to travel in its own way. Let your body learn from, from the sword. So I want you guys to, I know we've only got one pal, but we kind of set up three or four people to kind of get that feel of squeeze. Actually, let's do it with a partner. Uh, yeah, your grace just hold the stick. Yeah, just hold, that and hold up the stick. So if you don't have a pal, Kind of hold it up that way. I'm going to aim it to where I'm going. Just grab it up top. That way I can do a little static. Squeeze it down. Then relax. Right. Now, you're, what you're doing by, by doing this is not only training your mind of where to put the tension and when, you're also teaching alignment. Your body will know this feels bad. It will know that a target over to your side, is that's not really going to work there. So. That's where you want to get used to where your feet are. Squeeze and relax, right? And then, then the last couple inches. Again, don't think about lo unloading the thunder on this. Think about surgical use of your energy, not just pounding away. Right? So let's partner up and try that one. 